Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be designing a totem pole output stage circuit using the LTSpice tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Let us start the circuit simulation, opening a new schematic and now click on components and select an NPN transistor and place this particular NPN transistor on the schematic window. Next, we require a 3 NPN transistor as shown in this particular tutorial in order to design the totem pole output stage circuit. Now, right click on the transistor and select pick new transistor and select 2N3904. Similarly, we have to Pick the transistor for transistor Q2 and transistor Q3. Once we name this particular transistor, we have to place the passive components such as the resistor and the capacitor. Now place the resistor R1 and R2 on the schematic window. In this particular tutorial, we require 8 more resistors which needs to be placed accordingly. So this resistor would be the uh, resistor across the collector, the resistor across the emitter, the R3 resistor, the R4 resistor, the R5 resistor and the load resistor. So place those resistor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now, once all the resistor has been placed on the schematic window, we have to place a capacitor, which would be the capacitor C1. So click on capacitor symbol and in order to rotate the capacitor, use control R and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window. Click escape and click on wire, connect the resistor R1 uh, to resistor R2 and the other end of resistor R2 is connected to resistor R3. Connect the resistor R3 to Q1 and uh, connect the resistor R6 to the transistor Q1. The R6, other end of R6 is connected to Q3 and connect the transistor Q2 and Q3. Connect the transistor Q3 to R3 resistor and connect the transistor R1 to R4 resistor and from R4 resistor make the connection to the transistor Q2 and from R4 resistor connect this to transistor Q1 and R5 resistor is connected to the base of transistor Q2. Next we have to place a resistor R8 and click escape and connect the resistor R8 to transistor Q2 and then connect the resistor R8 to R4 and connect the capacitor C1 to resistor R1 and the base of transistor Q1 to capacitor, resistor and R2 transistor and connect the resistor R7 to the transistor Q3. Now place a ground connection as shown in this particular circuit and click on wire and connect the ground to the circuit as shown in this particular tutorial. Now 
right click on resistor R1 and define the value of resistor R1 as 57.6 kilo ohm and click OK. Right click on resistor R2 and define the value of resistance as 27 kilo ohm. Right click on capacitor C1 and define the value of capacitance as 1 microfarad and click OK. Now rename this resistor R4 to RC and define the value of resistor as 2 kilo ohm. Similarly, we have to rename the resistor R3 to RE and define the value of that particular resistor as 2 kilo ohm as shown in this particular tutorial. Now, similarly, right click on resistor R5 and rename that as resistor R3 and define the value of resistor as 10 kilo ohm and similarly rename the resistor R4 uh, and define the value as 10 kilo ohm. Next for the other two transistor right click and define the value of resistance as 100 ohm and rename it as R5 and in the end uh, the load resistance which is RL and define the value of that load resistance as 1 kilo ohm and click OK. Now for this particular circuit we have to define the voltage source. So click on component and select the voltage source. Place uh, two voltage source for this particular circuit simulation and uh, place a ground connection and click on wire connect this particular uh, negative terminal of the voltage source to the ground and extend the wire across the voltage source v1 click on label net and define the label net as vdd and place this particular label net now define this voltage source as vdd right click on this particular voltage source and define the DC value as 9 volts. Now click on label net and define this particular label net as VDD and place this across the resistor R5 and resistor RC. Click on wire and extend the wire across the label net VDD and the uh, wire across the R5 and RC resistor. Place the second voltage source right click on this particular voltage source and we have to define the values for that. So before that place the ground connection, click on wire, connect the wire across the negative terminal of the voltage source and the positive terminal of voltage source is connected to capacitor C1. Now click on advance and define this as sign, define the DC offset as zero, define the AC amplitude as 1 define the frequency as 1 kilohertz so we have defined the voltage source define this as v in and click on label net place the label net v in across the uh, wire as shown in this particular tutorial Now save this particular circuit so you can save this as totem pole circuit and uh, uh, before uh, saving this particular circuit we have to define the transient analysis so define that as dot tran 4 milli and run this particular simulation and now place the probe across the uh, input of the circuit so you can see the waveform and place the probe across the output so you can see the uh, waveform of the totem pole uh, output output state circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below